All right. Hi, everyone. My name is Nima. I'm the co-founder of Blue Lobster, and we're changing the way that you buy seafood by removing the seven to eight middlemen that there currently is in the supply chain. When I was young, it was possible to go down to the harbor and buy fish straight off the dock. It was fresh, it was cheap, and you had some kind of a personal relationship with your local food supplier. That's not the case anymore. Our solution is to create a two-way marketplace where we combine um, where we connect small-scale fishermen that fish sustainably with local consumers. Um, by removing all the different middlemen in the chain, we're distributing the margins, the profit, between the two players. <laughs> and our beachhead. So on the f it's obviously two-sided. On the fisherman side, we're only working with sm small-scale um, fishermen that use passive gear, because this is more sustainable for the environment. Um, in Denmark, this is 30 million a dollar market, but it's not just a Danish problem, it's absolutely a global problem. So the way we're going to be expanding this is going to new geographic regions. On the customer side, our beachhead is restaurants, because they can create a demand that works well for um, a marketplace when it's growing. We currently work with 38 restaurants in, in Copenhagen, and we hope to enter the B2C market soon as well. So our value proposition. If you look at the fisherman side, you can see that the biggest um, buyer by far in the current market is the auction, and we're buying the fish for about three to four times as much, depending on the species. Um, on the consumer side, on the other hand, right now we're selling B2B, just under market price, we're coming in as a competitive player there, but when we hit the B2C market, we'll be way under half price. And this is what our solution looks like. It's an easy to use app, and here are some of the competitive advantages that I'd like to share with you. So we're locally sourced. This obviously means that we're saving a lot of unnecessary two emissions from long haul driving. We also have complete supply train, um, chain transparency, which means that when you buy from us, you know exactly when it was caught, by who, and with what equipment. So not only are we educating um, users, we're also um, fixing a huge problem in the industry. We're currently the only suppliers in Copenhagen that do same-day delivery of fish. It's sustainably caught, as I mentioned. And we have created a live auction for unintentional bycatch. So that's the fish that the fishermen gets on board that they didn't mean to get on board. We interviewed 23 fishermen and 30 restaurants, most of which are now currently paying customers. And one of the big learnings we had was they were having a difficult time explaining to their diners why sustainable fish was important. So now we're creating a marketing kit to help them explain that uh, through storytelling. We hope to capture 50% of our beachhead market, resulting in 435 restaurants in Denmark, and this resulting in $650,000 profit a year. And the climate impact. So obviously we're saving um, a lot of CO2 emissions on this long haul driving, 92% currently. But um, there are two other things that I'd really like to emphasize. First of all, it's the preventative factor. We have made a strategic choice only to work with sustainable passive gear fishermen. And this means that we're protecting our ocean floors and we're fishing in such a way that it doesn't interfere too much with the local marine ecosystems. And throughout the past 10 to 15 years, we've really seen a switch where sustainable fishing equipment is replaced by unsustainable fishing equipment. So this is the trend that we're trying to reverse. We're trying to make a marketplace that makes sense for sustainable fishermen to also compete on price, um, as well as quality, of course, by getting it there faster. Um, on the other hand, it's the unintended bycatch. The EU has just created new legislation that says any fish that a fisherman gets on board has to be landed. And this is a real headache for fishermen because they don't know where to, to get rid of this fish. Um, we've created this live auction style where we're branding this um, as a kind of a limited edition special product. And right now we're selling out on a daily basis on it. So we've created something that would usually be a waste product and turn it into a valuable product. Um, here, the, here we hope to address the issue of misreporting and underreporting of what people catch, which the UN has identified as the biggest obstacle to achieving um, SDG 14. Our team is me, and my co-founder Christine, and we had our first time, um, full-time employee Maggie that came on board this June. Um, and our big dream is to empower small-scale fishermen all over the globe. We've created a platform that can be used in any market um, to, to take um, control of their own sales channels. <laughs> to take control of their own sales channels and um, empower themselves and try to convert people back to sustainable fishing methods. Um, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much.